Hello everyone, Air Max here. In this video, we're gonna review Void Linux. And man, I have a lot to say about it. So let's jump into it right now. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. As you know, I'm following your recommendation. And last week, I jumped into the void. Like, let's say it this way, we jump into the void uh, in my, on my stream, it was uh, last Friday. We had a lot of fun uh, testing this distro. So, spoiler alert, I like the distro, but it's not for everyone. And, and why is it not for everyone? So, so let me explain. Void Linux is a general Linux distribution based on the Linux kernel. And what really differentiates this distro versus the other one is the fact that it's not a fork. This little baby, I would call it this way, is uh, not a fork of anything. They have uh, their own uh, package manager called XBPS. We will talk about it later. Uh, they provide like different type of uh, C library, one being like muscle and the other one being like uh, GNU libc. I, I could only test in, in this review like the GNU libc because I'm running an NVIDIA uh, card. I couldn't use muscle. Uh, with with this uh, hardware, but long story short, they they have their own little thing running, and, and also al almost forget one of the most important one. Uh, they use Runit as their init system and service supervisor, so no system D in this distro. And you will see like all those different like characteristics are really important because when we go into the review, like the positive and the negative. You will really understand like how it impacts on the user experience and what make it like better on one hand and sometimes like a little bit more complicated on the on the other hand. But to resume, Void is definitely an original distro, a little bit like uh, Solus or Clear Linux, for example. Like they do their thing on their own. And, and, and this is really interesting. So let, let's get into the positive for you to understand really like wh wh what is really great about this distro. So the first positive I want to talk about is the vision of the distro. As I mentioned earlier in other video, what really makes the difference between distro A and distro B is one, the vision, and two, the, the package manager, and also three, the community. Th this is really like for me, the three pillar of what make a distribution great or not great. And I would say like the vision is for me the end game vision. So let me explain. Their positioning is ready to provide a rolling release distro with stable packages. So you're gonna tell me like Air Max, like, this is not possible. Yes, it is. So for example, this is what Manjaro is trying so hard to, to do. But here Void, in my opinion, is is really successful as, as doing it. So you would have the latest kernel on the distro. You would have some of the latest version of packages on the distro available. But some of them, they're gonna keep them behind. So the so, so perfect example here would be they use Plasma 5 instead of Plasma 6. So on Arch, after three days or two days, boom, you are having the chance to use Plasma 6 when it's still in dev, when they're still like running through a lot of bugs. And I know like some people get irritated through that because man, like they, they don't want to go through the bug and debug and whatever from a, a new package release. And some of them like it. Like me, like I really love to discover even if there is bugs to get into it and, and, and enjoy like, you know, the debug process. Here, they keep to their vision and they are really selecting the one which they believe are not stable enough to be pushed toward uh, their uh, repository. But on the other hand, you would have, for example, the latest NVIDIA driver. Okay, so you are in this space where it's kind of mixed. You have best of both worlds, right? They just want to make sure that everything they push is clean for day-to-day uh, -day usage. And for that, the vision, like, really good. Another great point I want to mention towards the distro is the wiki. The wiki is solid. Uh, you will find 99.9% .9 of the explanation on, on everything going through the wiki. It's pretty like well structured. And obviously like I had some issue and we'll talk about it during the, the negative point there. But I would say like 
all the problems are easily resolvable through the wiki. It's pretty straight to the point. And uh, for a distro that comes with their own, you know, world of packages and their own vision, it's really important to have a solid wiki and they deliver it. So another really positive point there. Another point you're going to notice right away after installing the distro and starting to play with it is the fact that it's booting so, so fast. So because they use run it as uh, in its system and uh, service supervisor, you're going to see you're, you're going to be in your desktop environment or in your TTY in less than like five seconds on my PC. I thought at the beginning when I first hit boot that I had an issue, like something didn't load and <laughs> something was broken. But no, like it just loads like that. I can like two or three seconds you are in. So if this is something you are really looking after, like going fast into your uh, desktop environment or your TTY, like this is a way to go, like uh, using a distro that doesn't count on systemd. Another great point I want to mention is related to their package manager. So it's called XBPS. And it was kind of like hard for me to get used to it. I would say like for the first like two minutes. But then when you understand the structure of it, I would say it's, it's way, way easier to handle than I would say, for example, like Pac-Man. Pac-Man is... Uh, hard to handle, like uh, even for years, like some users, they still don't know how to use Pac-Man. That's okay, but here you can get right into it. The help page within uh, the package manager and all the different like variant of executable you can go through is super clear. And during this stream last Friday, it was my first time and I didn't feel overwhelmed at all. So their package manager also is super lightweight. You will see that when you download, it goes really, really fast. Uh, when you install package, it's almost instant. I have to say that was a great experience. And uh, yeah, you, you will be like above, like I would say 70% of most of the distro out there in terms of like playing with packages. It's really, really fast. And, and this is a great thing. Now, another great point, and it's going to come more like toward like the, the main purpose of this channel is it's relating to gaming. Because obviously, like when I try distro like that, I, I want to play a game. The distro itself is not marketed as a gaming distro. It is definitely not. However, I have to say my experience was solid. I didn't encounter any bug like I had, for example, on Fedora or Ubuntu. Like everything worked. My Valheim saved worked really well. The performance was there. I would say it's obviously it's not optimized like a, a Cache OS or Nobara, for example, but you will get decent frame rate and you will have overall like a better gaming experience than on Ubuntu or, or Fedora. Like the experience out of the box is great. When it comes to content creation, I was able to install OBS natively. I didn't have to install the Flatpak version. It's in their repo. They have a specific plugin to install OBS browser source. Everything is here. So again, this is really good when you come to content creation. You're going to be able to do your basic stuff. No problemo. Lama mano. After reading all those positive points, you're going to be like, Air Max, is there any really negative there? Because you have a great vision. You have a package manager, which is super solid. And... All the game and content creation stuff work really well. Well, uh, this is what we're going to go into the negative. And, and the negative, I have to say, like they are really related to the way Void is structured. And, and let me explain it. If you are a new user and you want to jump into the Void, man, you're going to be here and it's going to be a, a really hard place to be in. I do believe Void is really hard for the newcomer and I would say even for the advanced user. And let me explain why. Void is such a different distro compared to the other ones that you're going to have to learn the way they do things. Okay, that's the first thing. But you're going to have to learn also, if you are a new user, the hard way, like how to build everything from scratch. What they propose on their website is two ISO. One which has like a XFC, uh, desktop, which is pretty neat, and one which is like the base install. If I have to compare it, it will be more like if you were installing Debian 
from the net installer. This is a type of experience you're going to get when you're going to install like the distro for the first time. You don't have Calamares. You don't have like, you know, like the dev pushing your little hand to explain you how to install your protocol display, how to install your desktop environment, how to install your sound setup. To give you an idea, I, I do believe uh, I'm, 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 I'm a decent Linux user and it took me around like two hours and a half to really understand how to take advantage of my sound card on this distro. They have their own way to, to name uh, the packages. That's the first thing. Then when you get into that, you will notice that the run it, if you are not used to it, you're going to have to relearn how to set up services and make sure that everything works well. And it's, it's a learning process, right? And to me, I, I put it in the negative because, you know, I'm, I want to praise it because I do believe it's a great distro. But on the other hand, it's not for everyone. And you need to be aware of it. You need to be aware of the fact that you're going to need a lot of patience and a lot of determination to make it run as you want. The other negative point I want to mention is the fact that it's a small, I believe, like community distro. So you won't have a lot of the application you will find out of the box packaged in their repo. First example, FastFetch. When I install my distro, I like to run FastFetch. They don't have it. So they have this tool called xbps-source, which is super well documented and kind of help to build your own packages for the distro to be able to run them. So you will have to compile them and then use this tool to integrate it and create a package which is going to be compatible with a void Linux environment. And it's fine, you can do it, but it had a new layer of complexity, right? Because if you have some of your favorite applications which are not available on void Linux, well, you're going to have to do the extra step. So I'm mentioning fast fetch there, but, but the second one is uh, a custom kernel. I like to have my own custom kernel because I like to game. And I do believe like the custom kernel is the best way to have like the best gaming experience. And even if the gaming experience was above what you could get on a you know, common distro like Ubuntu or Fedora, it was not still at the level of a Nobara or a TKG kernel type of like, you know, distro or Cache OS. Like you're, you're still a little bit under. We try to compile the kernel and man, like this is, this is a tough place to be. Can you do it? Of course you can do it. But it's not going to be a place like you go on the AUR and you download the script and boom, you have, you have kernel like optimized already. Like it doesn't work this way. You're going to have to really put more time and energy to create your own script and make it work. How do we conclude this one? I want to say that Void Linux scratch something I kind of like forget after like two year and a half of using uh, Linux desktop and more than 20 years of using Linux on server. It's this little itch, you know, the, the first one I had when I discovered Linux. And you're going to say like, what are you saying, Air Max? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. When you discover a new way of playing, you know, with, with a distro and, and, and kind of like learning something and void kind of like uh, wake up this itch. Can I say that? I don't even know if I say that, but you understand like this curiosity of like building your thing on your own. So this distro is definitely for users who like to tinker, who have this itch. And maybe you are getting bored with Debian because it's now it's too easy for you or even Arch. Like you're like, man, like I know everything about Arch and now I want to discover something else and I want to contribute to, right? Void is for you. Definitely, I think they, they come with a really good vision. What I believe they need is more support from the community. So if you want to help them, jump on it, create script, share with the rest of the community, maybe make Void more accessible. For the other side of the user, you know, like people who doesn't want to tinker, they just want something that work out of the box, avoid Void. Like Void Linux, is definitely, uh, in my opinion, at a level of like Arch, in between Arch and Gentoo type of approach when you, you really need to put your hand under the hood to appreciate it. 
and, and this is what is make it like so great in my opinion so yeah that's all about void linux i think it was a great experience now personally i don't have the time to invest for doing that so i'm gonna put it on the side uh, but I'm going to keep in mind uh, and, and, and try it from time to time to see how everything evolves. But yes, uh, for, for a Linux gamer, someone in my you know vision, someone that doesn't want to tinker so much, want to have a, an experience of gaming out of the box, uh, I, I can't recommend this one, unfortunately. But it's still a, a gem of a distro. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I need your support. I want to thank all the great supporters of uh, this channel. Guys, you're the best. Uh, give it a try. You know, Void is here. It's fun. It's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And uh, until next video, have a great rest of your day. And as we say over there, bisous, bisous. Take care.